So I heard somebody looped their bike on Golar Wash. That wasn't you. I whiskey throttled yesterday. Oh, okay. Do you uh, want to see you, a picture? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Wait. But, yeah. That's, are we looking uphill? Is that the. Yes, we're looking uphill. Offies, one of which was a whiskey throttle, and then I dropped down into a ditch, into a rut, I should say. Dirt biking is starting to take on a, a very real meaning for me, but up until now, I've just been calling it a dirt bike. Do my usual, you know, adventure motorcycle travel, but it's a whole new ball game when you are actually dirt riding for real. <laughs> a whole new skill set. Even after the whiskey throttle, which I also think needs a better name, I think it should be called a tequila shot. <laughs> the way you throw it back, the way I threw back my bike. That actually spurred me on. I know the feeling now, I know what it's like. So grateful that the bike didn't tip though and land on me. So, so grateful for that. Okay. Yeah, here at the Noobs Rally, we've just met a bunch of brilliant guys on much bigger bikes. And got, they've got this whole cottage industry going on of tools and this whole workshop of being able to fix and maintain bikes my kickstand has broken and they've just said come on over bring your bike we'll fix it for you so that's what we're about to go and do which is don't you just love the camaraderie and the fellowship of the road it's what it's all about hello hey hey Whoa, look what we've got here. Hi. Yes. Hey. Cheers. Hi, I'm Lisa. <laughs> okay, that's your spring set. Is it? There's a lug up there. Right there, yep. yeah. Okay, with a big end, and then the small end went around the screw here. That's right, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's yeah, let's just go ahead and pull this, and then let's um, see if we can't get this milled out properly. Yeah. And get a, get a screw that'll fit in there. Yeah. I cannot be on the picture. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't. I cannot. No. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, you want to Yeah, I'm very wanted. Man. Very wanted. wanted. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Yeah. So I heard somebody looped their bike on Golar Wash. That wasn't you. I whiskey throttled yesterday. Oh, okay. Do you uh, want to see you, a picture? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Wait. That, yeah. That's, are we looking uphill? Is that the? Yes, we're looking uphill, but that's the angle of my bike. It was practically oh. vertical. <laughs> As a Brit, are you a fan of spicy food? No, not really. The, bland, the blander the better, really. <laughs> so we've got epoxy, yep. which you've just dabbed on. And this dabbed thing off, is, the extra. Oh, <laughs> you dabbed off, sorry, not dabbed on. No, I did dab it on. Okay, we dabbed it off. <laughs> There's something going on there with the thread. Okay, I want to get some shots done the thread. But the thread is good, good, and then um, oh now God. we're gonna get these stretched onto there. But I gotta get this a little bit tighter first. Yeah. Unpack it. You unpack it because it's not. Oops. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Now we're gonna back this washer back, and we're gonna tuck both those springs behind that washer. Okay, and then swing check. Five dollars a month. Yeah. Down. Swing check up. Ooh, oh wow, <laughs> James, you are the best. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Rob. Uh, it's uh, it's gonna work great. Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Don't try to take that screw out though, because it's epoxied in. It just gets to live there. Okay, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, 
Yes! I can use my kick sound again. I like this kickstand though. It's 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 super light, Rob, and then this little adjustable foot. Like <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Cheers. No problem. Oh, you're sounding so British already. You just after five minutes with me. Cheers! <laughs> This came about on our very first ride together. Um, so there's there's four brothers is where this started, and we're step brothers and half brothers. So there's two Ruizes and two Danners. Right. Okay. That's where the R2D2 comes from. Oh right. Okay. Um, and the circus comes from just all the chaos that seems to follow us around on our rides, and you know, broken motorcycles, etc. So that's where the the off-road circus came into being. Quite a place. How about that? So happy. <laughs> I am delighted too. We bump into a fellow Brit, Gareth, who invites us to accompany him to an old mine. After the excitement of day one, we accept his offer of an easier day's riding. Following you guys. Oh, okay. Hi, Jason. Nice to meet you. The gravel road up to the mine is on a good graded eight mile dirt access road. It's winding and steep in sections, which makes for a fun ride. Hey, hey, hey! Stunning. This is definitely more my thing, rather than hammering out hard days on the scenery and just nice ride. Ha! That's incredible! <laughs> Actually, uh, climbing and climbing and climbing. There is no barrier, but it's two track, so it's all good. Happy. <laughs> Sarah Gordo Mines. Okay. Sarah Gordo was once a booming silver mining town, experiencing its peak production in the late 19th century. It was one of the richest silver strikes in California history. At its peak, Cerro Gordo produced millions of dollars worth of silver, significantly impacting the economy of California and the wider United States. The town had all the trappings of the Wild West, including saloons, shootouts, a general store, and even a brothel, once catering to a colorful cast of characters ranging from miners to gamblers. Despite its former prosperity, Cerro Gordo became a ghost town after the silver market crashed in the late 19th century. Many of its buildings and structures remain remarkably preserved, offering a glimpse into the past. As fun as exploring the mine was, the best was yet to come. As we rode back with Gareth, the vista opening up before us was nothing short of spectacular. The grandeur of the Sierra Nevada mountains stretched out before our eyes. It reminded me that the journey is often better than the destination. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment below. 
Thanks for watching and see you next week.